Happy New Year, or better yet, Happy New Year's Eve. When we come around to the new year, we think about beginnings and we think about ends. Most especially, we think about beginnings. Our text, however, from the book of Revelation has all to do with the end, which is in fact a new beginning. In Revelation chapter 7, there are some verses that tell us what it's going to be like. That is is the question that we all want to know. What's it going to be like when we get to that last day and we spend eternity with Jesus? We get a glimpse of that here in this text. Revelation chapter 7, beginning with the 15th verse. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. When we get to that last day, when that trumpet sounds, the voice of the archangel is heard, and all of a sudden we are with Jesus, one thing that we can certainly count on is that nothing on this earth could ever compare to what we will experience. That's why when John writes the book of Revelation and he tells us about the last day, he does it by negation. He says what will not be there. We won't have any pain. We won't have any sorrow. We won't have any tears or anything like that. All of that's going to all of a sudden go away. What's also going to be there, and most importantly, is the Lamb. The Lamb who is also our shepherd. Jesus will be there with his pierced hands. If you look at the picture ever so closely right over my left shoulder, you will see the picture which is called Forgiven. In that picture... It is a man who is being held by Jesus. And when you look at the hands of Jesus, they are pierced. When you look at the hands of the man, in one hand is a hammer, in the other hand is a nail. Just think of what it's going to be like to be able to give thanks and praise to Jesus for all eternity. That's what the end is going to be like. We won't be concerned with the cares of this world. We won't be concerned with all of the things that cause problems and heartache and hurts because all of that, well, that will be negated. That will be gone and everything will be new. As you look at your Christmas presents and you see that they are new, eventually that newness fades. The newness with Jesus will never fade. It will be all glorious because we will be with the glorious Son of God for all eternity. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you that in our baptism, you gave us eternal life. You gave us something to look forward to, to be able to set our eyes on you for all eternity. Help us ever in this coming new year and in all the years to come to keep our eyes fixed on you, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In his name, amen. God's peace to you.